Dummy down. Hey, dummy down. Dummy down. Dummy down. Hey, dummy down. I got no worries, so cool and matata, they bite my shit like piranha. What? I fuck your bitch and I buy some Prada. Wait, which bag? Red one. Say that. Half on. I light it up like the flash. Talking to camera, not talking to woman and fast. What's up, guys? Zipper here, back with another reaction video. Today in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to uh, Bob's got a new video. It came out a couple days ago. Apparently, he's got a new album. Didn't know. This video came out a couple days ago. It's called Good Nigger Sticker. I can only assume this is gonna be another This Is America type video, except for more so dealing with African American issues or something. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to expect. This this thumbnail <laughs> looks ridiculous. This is the chronicles of a black magician left the rap business, made some plaques with an unthreatening black image. But that's finished, you niggas still ass kissing. Everybody's depressed, no happiness. It's sad when you find out the world is trash, isn't it? Okay, first, real quick, I wanted to say a prediction for this video. I thought, just from the title, I feel like it's gonna be like this, um, we'll just call him good dude, because I'm not gonna repeat this word over and over again. I feel like good dude is gonna get a good sticker every time you know he does something good which is ultimately you know not good basically whatever whoever's calling him that word deems good basically he's gonna be like a you know kiss up uncle tom type shit and then it's like here's your reward a good sticker i don't know but let's go ahead and keep watching wait, wait till they discover it's flat if I ever made me a movie and casted it, you wouldn't have to be a dysfunctional black family, a single and sad, a sell crack to act in it. The crook and enslaver, you send the prayers like Sky Daddy's blessing black people with good behavior like You're a good nigga. Yeah. You're a good nigga. Yeah. Here's a gold sticker. And I, and, I, and I swear it's folks going through my house when they know I ain't home. Bro, good dude is making me uncomfortable, man, which I'm sure is the point. So, yeah. <laughs> Good on him, good acting. It be your own people, you don't know what I'm on. Shot it up with shout it slim like nigga, pick up the phone. Hey, Stay up to 5 a.m. just to finish this song. I ain't gotta dumb it down, they just gotta catch up. Fuck you, bitch, I'm fired up. Thanks. I'm the whole entire plug. The way I drive, fuck my tires up. Game over, nigga, time's up. <laughs> Me and my bitch, fuck your bitch. Ayy, you ain't know she was with the shit. Ayy, yeah, we some thoughts, no kids. How good, this good hit. Yeah. It's more the life than being hood rich. You ain't on what I'm on. You ain't on what I'm on. Chopped it up and shot it slow, nigga. Pick up the phone. Chopped it up with B Rich, nigga. Pick up the phone. I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I'm not too sure what this is about, you know, besides my what I said earlier. What I said, you know, 30 seconds into the video is you know coming true my prediction is coming true but before that i'm not i'm not entirely too sure what it's addressing besides um i don't know whatever uh, i guess we'll just finish it and see if you know i'm just not 100 percent on what's going on that's what i'm trying to say whoa kimo sabe racist white people look at me like ben laden how, how many crisis actors <laughs> out here rapping today how many dick appointments can she make in a day Young, young, oh, young guys life. think they call this community <laughs> no the triple neck, OGs, bro. yeah. Gotta be broke to be woke, no check club, no sex, no neck. How much, how much what cloud make that ass come out? How much cloud make them titties come out? How much cloud? How much cloud? How much cloud make you fakers take a bow? Game over. I see people wondering what he's saying here. There's a meaning, but the... Baphomet will provide most of the clues. It isn't an evil image. He's telling you that approval seeking from any legitimizing entity by obeying its arbitrary dictates, dictates, whether it's God or a government or a cultural ethos, is not going to get you woke. Obedience separates you from your higher self, wanting that gold star from anything, from anyone, anything, even titties and ass. But learning to work 
right from wrong, for lack of better words, and honor yourself in an individual process. It's the path of the magician, and that's what he's conveying here. Developing and engaging the heart, mind, and will as a sovereign being. Most people get this on some level. People know being charitable for brownie points or approval, okay, gotcha, is not really being charitable. People know that if titties and ass are your motivation, then you won't have love, you'll have drama, you're still a beggar trying to prove yourself. And obedience doesn't make you a good person. Obedience most often makes you a fool, right? Obedience to authority has been nothing short of the downfall of mankind. All right, well, I'm glad I looked at that comment because um, I honestly, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't too lost. You know what I'm saying? I, I did have, you know, a good guess or whatever in the beginning. Like I said, you know, he he do stuff. I didn't. Okay, look, I didn't want to say white. You know, I didn't want to. But I mean, dude in that era was white, and you know who who else was really calling people niggers back then? So I mean, I'm saying anyone can be racist, but yeah, I just wanted to avoid oh whatever. So basically, it's like looking to the white man for approval. And like the comment said, it makes a good point where um, when he gave the money to a beggar, he looked up like, hey, that, that's good, right? When in reality, like that's doing something charitable, like the comment said, just for approval is wrong. And that's why, you know, I feel a certain way about videos with people going out and giving money to hobos and shit like that. Cause it's just like, for me, like I would love to see, it's a lose-lose situation basically, because it's like, you can say that you did all this stuff, but then people are gonna be like, oh, well, where's the proof? But then <laughs> if you record you doing this stuff, then people are gonna be like, wow, you're a fucking dick. Like you you, you just did this so uh, for views, uh, money, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, shit like that. And it's like, so, I mean, you literally can't win with that. So all you gotta do is the only way to win that is to be charitable and keep your mouth shut. I don't know why I did that, but be charitable and keep your mouth shut. And there were, there were some other things in here too. Um, but yeah, basically that comment that I read, I am assuming sums up the video pretty perfectly. Cause <laughs> before that, you know, I, the whole time I was trying to see if there was, you know, if, if I was missing something, I probably still am, you know, cause I was like, it can't just be, you know, that, that's it, you know. Cause that's almost surface level like you know being able to i feel like there's more shit to decipher but anyway i know this probably wasn't the best reaction because i was confused the whole time and it's still kind of confused at the end but i appreciate you guys watching this video uh if you like go ahead and leave some comments uh to help me figure this out you know what i'm saying share what you took away from the video share anything you know that i might have missed and not mentioned that'd be awesome thanks for watching this video if you guys like my reaction don't forget to hit the like subscribe if you like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace